Mm -hmm. I love almond croissants. It is my crib tonight. Holy cow. When I was in Bali, I had this pistachio croissant. Also really dope. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. And I can have so many croissants in Bali too because it's so cheap. This is too expensive. I was craving a croissant, so I went to a coffee shop to get one. Sorry, I'm still chewing. Rude. And then I was like, well, I can't not get a coffee. And I didn't even want to look at the prices, to be honest, because I knew it was going to be expensive. My total came to $15. Welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> First thing we need to do today is refill our water. Mm -mm. Finish this. That's the first thing. I'm not gonna lie. kind of tastes like soap. I decided to get a lavender latte because I just hear so much about lavender flavored things. Lavender flavored things just taste like soap, which makes sense to me because I use a lot of lavender scented products for my soapy needs. Hi buddy. You like that spot? We can't see you. It's so dark. Are you a cutie patootie? You're so old and crispy, Toby. Look at the gray in your eyebrows. Why are you so crispy? In the shadows, you're not. In the shadows, you look young. In the sunlight, oof, look at all those gray hairs. So I've been in San Diego for what feels like a month at this point. Yeah, it's been a while. Sorry, I just got distracted by a caterpillar. It definitely took some time for me to readjust to stationary life, as stationary as you can get life living in a van and the purpose of being here for a while a long while is to rebuild my routine my fitness routine my health routine nourish the relationships i have build on new relationships truly develop my home base so this way next time i go travel non-stop again i will be recharged refueled ready to go <laughs> now before we go any further in this video i'm going to give you your reason why you clicked on it in the first place which is sharing my super top pack secret, not so secret, top secret secret of, of van life, of life, really. Everything I share here isn't exclusive to van life. It's for everyday life, unless it is exclusive to van life. First of all, what was the problem that I have been experiencing? Finding places to shower. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that every single person in van life has a Planet Fitness membership because they are one of the cheapest gym memberships and they have probably the most facilities spread across the US. Where I've been having problems with it is that I go to places like middle of nowhere, Colorado, middle of nowhere, Wyoming, and there are no Planet Fitnesses around and I have to spend money on rec centers or truck stops. Truck stops go up to 15, 20 freaking dollars and they are the nicest facilities, but they're wildly expensive and not really that worth it, you know? And then rec centers are about $5 per shower. That's too much money to be spending on it. I wouldn't shower that frequently when I was in Colorado or Wyoming. Sorry to tell you, but that's just the truth. The solution here is to get gym memberships at every single gym in the USA. Now, I get it. You're like, Sarah, that sounds wildly expensive. Why in the heck and Bob would you do that? 
because I'm only paying $28 a month. I'm paying $28 a month for a 24 at LA, Planet Fitness, Anytime, Crunch, and all the like the little mom and pop places in this area. <laughs> I wish I had known about this. So I would have been showering at like the local gyms in those towns that I was at in Colorado and in Wyoming. This is not sponsored by the way. This is just me being your friend and giving you resources to things that you should probably know about. And it's called Active and Fit. Here's where not everybody can get it. You have to have a triple A membership or look into your workplace. Perhaps they have a deal with Active and Fit. You have to go through like an affiliate like that in order to get the $28 a month one and in order to get access to the bigger gyms like 24 and LA. Technically anyone can sign up for it and you just pay $32 a month, but that only gives you access to Planet Fitness and smaller gyms, it won't give you access to 24 hour or LA Fitness. I mean, it could, it could potentially still be a good deal. Look into it yourself. I didn't dive too deep into the, into the $32 a month one. I've been able to get the $28 a month, which gives me access to every single gym in the United States. I'm assuming it's every single gym in the United States. It's all the important gyms, 24, LA, anytime, Planet Fitness. I'm able to do that through AAA. You're welcome. I don't have any affiliate links for this or anything. And we're all adults here. I think you can figure it out. Just go to your AAA account and look at deals and find it. I gave you the information. Just do your own research, okay? Again, not sponsored. I'm just being a friend. I'm not sure if you can see it. That is my load of laundry that I finished yesterday. I started doing laundry yesterday and then got really busy with other things and didn't put my clothes away. So we're gonna do that right now. And then we're gonna make ourselves some Japanese curry. Look at that boy, he's all over my stuff. You were just in the sand and now you're getting everything dirty. You're getting everything dirty, Toby. <laughs> my sweater, oh, <gasps> remember this sweater? Do you see that? Yeah, that hurt. Me trying to get it off his poor little Toby toes with my jacket, it pierced through the jacket and onto me. Ugh. I like this jacket, so I'm gonna start picking at it so I can use it again, but Toby's fine. He's fine. When I cleaned out my van with Karina, I actually spent a whole evening picking out those pricks finally. You know how long it's been? I had this tucked away in the corner of my front seat for a very long time because I was too afraid to touch it in case I got attacked. It's getting a little warm in here, Toby. My gutted shirt. I don't know why I cleaned that. I never wore it. Okay, this isn't a show and tell of all the clothes I have, so let's speed this along, yeah? While I do this, I'm going to watch something. When I was working my corporate job, the space where my desk was, was also surrounded with people who worked in supply chain. And these supply chain folks are really loud. They're really loud, they're talkative, they're just running around everywhere, which was honestly great for me. It actually helped me focus on what I was doing. Because I knew there was chaos all around me, I wasn't looking for a distraction. The distraction was already there. And then when we moved spaces, we moved to a place where it was just our group and it was so quiet, it was dead silent. I was the least productive I had ever been. Anytime someone walked next to my desk, I'd be like, who is that? Every time someone drops a pencil, I'd like look. In order for me to counter that, I actually would have Netflix playing in the background. TV show that I've already watched before so that I kind of just know what's going on without having to like look at the screen or anything. And that's how I became productive again. Right now, as I'm doing this in silence, I am looking for distractions. I literally looked at my phone three times in like the first three minutes. I'm going to play something while I get this done. Can anyone relate to that? One person you think should return to the villa. I'm not gonna lie, I got distracted by my phone again. I got things to do! We got things to do, we still need to make our Japanese curry and it's getting kind of late. Turbo mode on. I don't know where the other pair went. <laughs> okay, look, it might seem like I have a lot of clothes. I'm not a simple man, you know? I am a female that likes to look nice and feel nice in every occasion. Stop giving me crap about the amount of clothes I have because I think it's pretty adequate for living in a van. I like to feel nice and look nice and that requires me to have variety in my wardrobe. Remember the difference here. I am not a simple man that just needs a black t-shirt and some jeans. I need more than that. Let's make our Japanese curry, finally. 
Yeah, she is stocked. So we're gonna just take everything out and see what we can work with. I got two things of ground beef or ground turkey. I don't eat beef. I'm gonna bring that out. I have strawberries. I really wanna make chia seed pudding. Are they supposed to smell fishy? I'm gonna Google that later. They got some carrots. You can't have Japanese curry without carrots. We have a potato. Why is this smell? Oh, dang it. My onion got gross somehow. Okay, garlic. Why is it like literally juicing? I've never had an onion juice like that before. That's freaking weird, dude. Well, I have a green apple to add to my cheesy pudding. Ew, <laughs> it smells so bad. Why does it stink, Toby? Why is it stinky? Ah! Oh, the point of me coming over here was to look up if oyster mushrooms are supposed to smell like fish. Should oyster mushrooms smell fishy? Oyster mushrooms have a unique odor. Often people report them as smelling slightly fishy or seafoody, and it's also often com Google if you want to know what the end of that sentence is. It's this one that stinks. Why is it a different color than this one? Doesn't smell as strong. I'm just not going to use this one. <laughs> This is what we're using. We love this stuff. You can get it. You can get it in the Asian section of most grocery stores. The Asian markets though, you will are guaranteed. No meat contained. Is this vegan? As far as I'm concerned, it is vegan. There is MSG and caramel color in it though. All right, so we have two cups of water. One cup of rice. Well, that's half a cup. We're going to do one more. <laughs> Ideally, you would wash your rice first before starting to cook it, but fresh water is a luxury here in van life. Ain't that right, Toby Tobes? Did I make a mess? Abs of friggin' lutely. And lastly, we are going to add our salt. A little tip, if you wanna make your rice taste good and not just plain, I highly recommend putting some oil in the pan and cooking garlic or ginger or the white part of green onion. Cook that up before doing everything I just did and then your rice will taste like garlic or like ginger or like the onion. It's really good, highly recommend doing it. I didn't do it this time because I'm gonna have a lot of flavor in the curry so not necessary. Next, I'm going to chop this up and clean these off and you know, chop this up as well. <sighs> what I don't have in here is a peeler. I would love to have a peeler. So we're gonna do our darnest to scrape off the skins of everything. Meal prep update. We got rice all cooked, put to the side. We'll deal with her later. Carrots, potatoes, garlic chopped. If I had an onion, that would be chopped as well. An onion is like ideal for this, but I just don't have it. The best meat to use are like chunks of beef or pork, but I don't eat either of those animals. So I have ground turkey. I don't know why I grabbed ground turkey. Should have grabbed like chicken or something. <laughs> We're gonna put ground turkey in there. Start cooking the veggies. And no, I'm not gonna clean this. Yes, I used it to cook the rice, but whatever. Not gonna lie, I feel pretty confident. There's a lot of trust on Tabitha, but that's why we- Not every day. Okay, yeah, it looks gross. Just give it a minute until the color gets there. Obviously, I didn't have enough room. I have a bunch of carrots and potatoes left and the oyster mushrooms that I didn't put in there. I'll probably cook it with the other thing of ground turkey. And now we wait. 
It smells so good, you guys. But it's not done because the potatoes are still hard, the carrots are still hard, the curry pieces haven't completely dissolved, and it's not creamy enough yet. It's still super watery. While we leave her alone, I'm going to tidy up a bit. Why am I holding this? I'm gonna tidy up a bit and make chia seed pudding. Delicious. What those doing right now, they are lying to ladies about having. This one hurts. Hey y'all. Tabitha can be headstrong, uh, and I'm sure. Oh, like 20 hours later, my goodness. <laughs> it's really good. Has anyone ever had Japanese curry before? First bite. She's good. She's tasty. Mm. If you make this, make sure you have a nice fresh onion that is not juicy. All right, I'm gonna eat this while I watch my show. Catch you later. up the lighting is stunning okay it is night it is only seven o'clock and it's pitch black we are gonna head over to our secret spot to get our secret spot gas at two dollars less a gallon than anywhere else here in San Diego well here's the line I'm currently on the main road then it goes do you see that there's cars going in that way there's the gas station, but I still have to circle around the other side of the gas station. And yeah, and then back over here. Anyway, it's, it's, it's worth the wait. Look, going here is worth the one plus dollar difference. I promise you, the wait is ridiculously long, but with gas prices these days and the lack of funds in my wallet, this is worth the wait. <laughs> Costco. Can we all just give my mother a big fat juicy thank you for letting me be part of her Costco membership? Look at how cute I am. Don't look at it. Don't pause and screenshot that. Don't do it. I didn't even know when I took that. I took that years and years and years ago. I tried to save myself money because I'm not trotting around the globe at the moment. I only kind of allowed myself to fill up my tank twice a month. So I haven't been really going literally anywhere, which is a little sad. I kind of want to go out into the desert real quick and get some outdoorsy atmosphere, but gas prices, bro. Oh, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. You know, the line is huge and it looks intimidating, but it goes pretty fast. It's our turn. $4.99, whereas most places here in San Diego are probably around the $5.50 range, but a lot are $6. I just arrived to Planet Fitness. I ran five miles yesterday and I feel really good about it. Remember, I love running. Running is my new hobby, but I can't run every single day. That's just not good. We're gonna do an upper body day. Let's design myself a plan. We're working our chest, upper back, bicep, lats, and shoulders. Yeah, let's get some muscle back in our life. I lost a lot. Oh my goodness, this one I can't even flex. <laughs> Did you sit on your toy, Toby? Let's go. Hey, buddy, can I have a hug? 
I just need a hug. Oh, 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 you good boy. Oh. You got sand all over this bed. <laughs> I just needed to get that out of the way real quick. Okay. Despite my current attitude, I had a win today. So at the gym, there was just this bro infestation at the cables. And my entire workout I had planned for myself revolved the, ca the cables. It, it was upper body day for everybody apparently. And the, up, the cable machine was completely taken. I didn't wanna just stand around and wait and like just stare at everybody. So I got on the treadmill, which I really didn't wanna do because my legs are still kind of sore from yesterday. I really wanted to just go back to my van. I just wanted to leave. I was irritated by the amount of bros that were there and weren't moving, but what would a tough person do? We're trying to make changes in our lives. We want to make this a habit. We want to be stronger, fitter, healthier. I decided to just switch things up and did lower body day. I still couldn't use any of the racks there though. Oh, there's bugs in here. I couldn't use any of the racks there because again, bro infestation. So I just used a bunch of random machines, but it's okay. We did something today and that is the win. Despite the cranky attitude I got from just not being able to do what I want, you know? We're good, we're good. We're fine. Literally not the end of the world that I wasn't able to do what I wanted to do today. Okay, we can't always get what we want. You know, the world doesn't revolve around all of us. Oh, here's my beverage of choice. All right, let's change. You know, today was still a really good day. Today was a really good day. It was a very average day, but nothing crazy happened. Toby made some friends at the beach today. While I did have a hiccup at the gym, even though it wasn't a hiccup, I still got shit done. And I'm proud of that. Passero would have left, but only to use that as an excuse to not work out. A mentally tough person makes it work. I've always had that mentality when doing what I want to do, like traveling abroad, getting a van, building it out, living in it. I had a lot of obstacles and disadvantages along the way, but I made it work. I prioritized it and I made it happen. If there's anything that you want to do, you want to be, you want to have, make it work, make it happen. In my Q&A, I mentioned a video that's been really helpful with my mental toughness journey. Please, at the very least, watch the first 30 seconds of that video. Just the first 30 seconds, I would encourage you to watch the whole thing, but at the very minimum, the first 30 seconds. She basically says that the tougher the situation you're in, the bigger the advantage you have. Why? Because tough people aren't built in easy situations. They're built in tough situations. And the most powerful tool we have is our mind. And we can't exercise it, we can't work on it if we don't get ourselves in uncomfortable situations. Face your fears, my friends. Face your fears. I am a little delusional right now because I'm so tired. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, let's take Toby on a walk. is a really cloudy day today. I really need to be particular about my electrical usage because we are low. We are very low. <laughs> What I'm gonna do for the rest of the day is my dishes. I made a lot of food yesterday and I didn't clean it up. So we're gonna do that today. And then we're gonna go to the gym later because we didn't go this morning because LA Fitness sucks. And I really hope to see you next week. It's been a very, very simple day in Van Life Paradise. What can I say? I love it. But I can't wait for me to recharge enough and get the energy again to get out and get going and bounce around constantly like crazy. I like I like the balance of this life, of being able to settle down when I want to settle down and bounce around like a maniac when I want to bounce around like a maniac. Anyway, I'm going to get on and get dishing. 
<laughs> so if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Would really appreciate it. Toby's toes would really appreciate it. In fact, if you don't subscribe to this channel, Toby is not gonna get any more treats for the rest of the year. So really, his fate is in your hands. I highly recommend for Toby's sake to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next week. Bye.